Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Burning Crusade Classic and our Torrent Warrior playthrough. Today we are doing the Zulfurak dungeon. We have a pickup group including a 47 orc warlock, a 47 mage, 43 orc shaman on heals, and another 46 blood elf mage. So two mages and a warlock on DPS, and a shaman on heals. I think we're pretty good to go as far as buffs are concerned. We look good. Well, that was a good way to start. Just immediately losing aggro on the first mob. can see that it's probably going to be a fun time holding thread off of multiple mages. I mean, but if they don't need us to hold threat, I wonder if I just want to go with the two-hander for this. Uh, if they can really just kite like that, which seems to be quite effective. I'm just wondering, like, do I just want to focus on doing DPS? Okay, not when we want to be doing that, I guess. Apparently we are in a little bit of a hurry today. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, if I don't have aggro after that many sunders, then I'm probably not going to get aggro. So, there is that. We do have a few quests for here. We have Troll Temper and a couple other things. Uh, I kind of want people to have mana back, but then again, if they don't have mana, they can't pull aggro. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> See how this works out. We could still use defensive stance, uh, but yeah. Uh, for anybody interested in our loadout, I will give a quick run-through of our items here so you can see what we have. Normally I would not uh, tank with a two-hander. This will be the first time that I've ever attempted to do this. We'll do this for a little bit uh, and just see how it goes, but... The way that we are definitely not holding threats um, on anything tells me that it's probably not going to matter very much and that maybe dealing more damage instead is going to be more helpful to the group. And then just taunting whenever we can. Yeah. It's really all I can think to do. Because when they're chasing other people, if they're constantly chasing other people, it's not like we're taking a lot of damage, right? So, something to keep in mind.
Shriveled Heart. We're actually holding more threat uh, as as arms or as battle stance with the two-hander than we were with the one-hander and the shield uh, in defensive stance, so... Uh, can we safely pull these guys here? I think so. I also probably wouldn't go this way if I wasn't in, like, wearing pretty much amazing gear and had amazing weapons. Uh, I probably wouldn't be doing this. But this is fine. Yeah, I mean, at least we're dealing more damage. If we can't hold threat off of the mages, then we're just going to deal more damage. Uh, I think we go over here. Well, let's, let's go over here next. A lot of dodging going on, that's not really good for us. Uh, yeah, I mean, as long as my healer is doing good, we, we are just going to keep going with this.
All right, well, that's not the greatest thing that to have happened. Also, being uh, turned into a frog for a long period of time is very, very bad. But, uh, yeah, you know. Oh, good, we're turned into a frog again. Great. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we're never, we're never getting out of this. By the time we get out of this, they'll have pulled the entire map. Awesome. Very awesome. Yeah, it makes sense that the healer went down. Well, hey, I mean, for pulling the entire area, we did okay. I'm fine with this. I've kind of learned my lesson <laughs> about group composition, though. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to bring two mages again. Probably made a little bit of a mistake bringing in a bunch of people with that kind of AoE power. It's really amazing, you know, what, what mages can do, but as a warrior with Thunderclap and Cleave... And both of those costing quite a bit of rage, it gets really hard to get initial aggro on enemies when people just open up and start doing Blizzard. We got a Warlock doing Reign of Fire. And, you know, I could be like, hey guys, chill out on the AoEs, let me get some aggro, yo. But why? I don't really see the point anymore of uh, trying to engage with people like that. They understand how aggro works. <laughs> they clearly are decent at their classes, so therefore they have an understanding of how aggro works and how tanking works, so I'm not going to ask people to change their playstyle. What I'm doing is what I've done is to I'm going to change my playstyle based on what other people are doing, so that means if I can't hold threat, I'm going to focus on trying to deal more damage. Which is something that I haven't done before, but it's something more and more like I've learned that instead of getting annoyed with what other people are doing, I can just kind of adjust what I'm doing and make sure that I'm having fun. What's not fun as a tank is to be like really, really struggling to hold threat on everything and to be really stressed out as mobs are running away. Then you're turning your back on enemies to chase other enemies down. That's basically the worst time for a tank. So I refuse to do it. Instead, we're doing the dungeon this way. And we might get to a point later in the dungeon, you know, especially in bosses, I'm going to do a one-hander and shield. Uh, but for the trash, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. What, what happened there was basically my fault for not pulling them back to like a more safe position, but ultimately, it's fine. Maybe, maybe this will even have, have the side effect of maybe they'll chill out a little bit on the AoEs, even though the AoEs were not the problem there, just the position of the pull was kind of the problem. But maybe, maybe they'll chill out a little bit. We'll see. Either way, it was fun, and we killed a bunch of them, so that's good. Alright, well, the pull here will be significantly easier for what we've already cleared. Alright, here we go. 
What I think is funny is, in the same way that I didn't address their using AoE abilities right off the pull, they have not addressed me equipping a two-hander <laughs> and just dealing damage and not even caring about threat. No one has addressed it. We're, we're like, it's like a live and let live kind of group right now. But we'll just see if this pays off, if this ends up being a successful run uh, by doing it this way. I gotta remember to loot these troll tempers. It'd be nice to get something completed in here. We need 20 of them, so we'll see if that happens. Alright, we're getting buffs back up. Warlock is getting his pet back out. Uh, mages are drinking. Healer looks good to go. Alright, perfect. So, uh, we could do things a little bit differently here. We, we could maybe... I'll pull back. Maybe I can use this as a uh, line of sight here. Uh, yeah, kind of the same thing here. I just want to take this guy. I'm going to run in and... Try to pull him back a little bit. I mean, we're going to have to clear those groups eventually anyway. This guy has a name, Thekka the Martyr. Uh, he's not he's not a boss.
Yeah, we are definitely not getting any of the items we need for this one. That's for sure. Well, it was close. Yeah, we got four out of five. That's, uh, not bad, but doesn't quite do it, now does it? Everyone seems sick of our scarab killing shenanigans since we seem to be the only person who needs the quest. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, exactly. Hello there. We have been st petrified or dazed or something awesome. Something awesome has happened to us. Oh, there we go again. Yep. That's, uh, that's to be expected, I guess, with these guys. Coming up to a boss, I will try to sword and board here. Just to try to be reasonable, let's give the healer a minute to get some mana back. Yeah, it's, it's hard to care. It's hard to care about having a shield when nothing's hitting you. So, yeah, I'm done with it. I am done with it. Okay. Kind of thought this guy just walked out here on his own. Oh, here he comes. Yep.
Yeah. Hi there. Yeah, being petrified isn't helping the situation at all, so, you know, that's always good. Uh, one-handed sword. Yeah, see, if we get this sword, if we get two of them, we can, uh, turn it into a two-hander, but I don't think it's better than what we have. Oh, 73. The top end damage is a little better. Okay, we're gonna take it. Uh, I want to make I want to make the two-handed epic sword if we can. But if not, this is still a, a good one-handed tanking sword. 37 to 70, 39 to 73, 32.9 DPS, 31. We have Crusader on the one we have, uh, but this increases our parry rating. Huh. I feel like the Dazzling Longsword is probably good for when we're soloing Sword and Board, and then maybe the Deflector could be good uh, for when we are, for when we're t actually tanking properly. But my real objective is to get the second sword and then combine the swords to make the thing I really want. It's a boss, so I'll start off by trying to do it properly, and uh, we'll go from there. Ah, sands consume you. Yep, same kind of thing. Still can't hold threats, so, you know. It's a nice caster staff, 10 intellect, 10 stamina, increases damage and healing by 21. Don't know that I've ever seen that drop before. It's funny to be fighting something and to look up and to see nobody in your group attacking and to see one person wanding. Is that like, is that them being mana efficient or just being absolutely lazy? 
and not wanting to tolerate my shenanigans anymore. Uh, I really don't know. I think there's going to be a path that comes up over here. Which is kind of what I'm worried about right now, but at the same time, I don't see one, so... Yeah, here's the patrol right here, moving with this sand crawler. Oh, we, we got aggro from back here. Can we, like, range her back? Oh, no, we can't. Cool, cool, cool. That's good. Nice and stunned. Nice and stunned and hexed. Hmm. This is so great. I forgot how annoying the hexes here are for a tank. I mean, I'm sure they're annoying for anybody, right? Well, we got one Sunder off before they hexed us. The hex lasts a while, too. It's not a short hex. I mean, as you can see, they can basically kill the enemy before we're out of it. Yeah, we can, uh, we can wait for a minute here. Something tells me we're probably not going to get all of our troll tempers. Just like we're probably going to be one short on our scarab. Another shriveled heart. They really want us to take this neck piece. But it's useless, so we're not going to. Uh, I could take this group here. Yeah, that's, that's a possibility. It's going to be four of them. If I do that now. Yeah, again, I'm trying to... When I do try to tank properly, I can't I can't put out enough damage on all of the enemies to hold threat on everybody, so... Let's go play Totem Cleanup. That was a fun path that we just took. Yeah. Figure if I get some of these scarabs into the fight, I have a small chance of completing that quest.
<laughs> Hello there. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this run too. Uh, let's see here. Sand Fury Executioner. This is not a boss still. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe a boss. Okay, so we gotta let these guys out of their cages, right? You need something? I don't need anything except for you to come out. Oh, we don't have the key. Did we loot the key? Let's do something smart and loot the key. Oh, somebody looted the key, but not us. There we go. I like how you unlock one door and they all open. It's pretty funny. Uh, from what I remember of this event, at least when we did this a bunch during Season of Mastery, this is pretty long. Yeah, it's a pretty long event. I realize that, like, I don't have my Fury Bar, like, set up at all in any way. Which is really something. Uh, we can execute here as well. Uh, we can only charge in Battle Stance. We can mortal strike. Oh, hi. That's fine. Probably not like the best time to play around with my bars, but yeah. Eventually I should set up a full-fledged uh, Berserker Stance bar and see how that goes. Come on, guys.
Well, it looks like, uh, it looks like we're basically done with that event. Let's come down here, we'll fight these guys, and then we'll fight, uh, these Alliance people. Well, that was a fun fear, yeah. That was really unfortunate. A cloth headpiece, 12 intellect, damage and magical, or spells and healing by 27. Pretty good. It's not the shoulders that drop from here, but uh, it's good for somebody. Uh, and now we have to deal with these guys. I think we want to take her out first. I think she's the healer. Oh, we have to talk to him, I think, to initiate the event, yeah. Greetings. Be careful. Great to meet ya. There's the Divinomatic Rod. We have a quest for that. Perfect. And then we did have somebody with the hammer, I'm pretty sure. But maybe we're going to go do this one first. I guess people go do this one first. And then if we have the hammer, we go back and do that. We'll see. It's been an interesting run. Yeah, I mean, I definitely prefer to tank uh, more traditionally. But this hasn't been awful. Yeah, the stuns here are real, and they're real annoying.
sad. Oh, look at that. Those are the shoulders. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and roll on those. Yeah, I mean, we have male shoulders on right now, so... There we go. Look at that. We have, uh, two shoulder pads. I can type, I swear. Looks good. Alright. Yeah. Skin these, and like I said, I think we can go over and uh, do the other one now because we do have somebody with a mallet to hit the to hit the gong. Oh, that dismounts us. Fun. Well, that was quite possibly the worst pull, the worst way we could have ever pulled anything ever. For some reason, I thought we can come around that corner and get a couple guys, but uh, no, we can't get a couple guys. We can get the entire room or nothing. So, yeah, that's fun. Now we know. Alright, so let's try that again, but uh, with less of the pulling the entire room part. The good thing is we probably killed a handful of them. So, not a total loss. Okay. Let's see. I'm poking my head out here. Yeah, I'm seeing this group right here to our to our side that I don't want to deal with. Uh, and I'm seeing the pack coming in. And I don't know if I can even pull this patrol without pulling the group on the right. Let's see. I feel like if I hide over here, maybe I'll be good. Okay, we've got a couple of people hexed, uh, which is no good. Yeah, the hexes are just absolutely brutal. Alright, well that's the patrol taken care of. Then we still have this enormous group to our right. Maybe we just come in here to the left. And maybe we don't deal with that group at all. I, I don't think we have to clear this place out. I think we just have to clear the area around the gong. 
So yeah, let's let's focus on just clearing this area around the Gog, and we're gonna leave that group. It was this group here that killed us. It looks like there's three, but then there's four, but then you realize that there's five. Uh, and by the time you realize there's five of them, you're you're already dead. You know. Yeah, I have to assume that this is going to be enough clearance for us, so let's uh, let's ring the gong. Whoever has the item, somebody has the item. Uh, kill who first? Oh, her. Okay, got it. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I thought for sure that entire group was going to pull. That was uh, incredibly lucky. Now I think this thing has some kind of punt or something, so I'm going to face her like back against this way. Maybe turn her around over here so if we do get punted we go in this direction and not towards all the enemies. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, hey. Hey. Hello. Okay, it's 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 wandering further and further away. Okay, I think we've got it. Let's pull it back here, mayhap. It won't come into the water. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it wants to come into the water, which is incredibly weird. Seeing as how it, it just crawled out of the water. This is the worst boss positioning ever. Oh good, we, we are frozen and we've got this guy to deal with. Yeah, this is, uh, painful, honestly. And I'd love to pick up these ads and stuff, but, you know, being a frog and underwater and frozen is kind of stopping me from doing anything like that. I'm still a frog. There we go. Oh, okay. Great. And a dagger drops. Cool. I don't think anybody needs that here. And yeah, it ends how it begins with us uh, being crowd controlled and being completely ineffective at our assigned role. So, good times. Yeah, it was an interesting one. I'll say that. Make sure I get the tiara. <clears throat> the tiara. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I got everything I need, right? Tiara of the Deep. What is the tiara? Fine Valthra? I don't know who that is. Oh, there we go. Portal to Orgrimmar? Uh, no. I think I'm good. Guys, thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys sticking this one out, especially if you're still here. It was a little bit of an unconventional run. Um... Two powerful mages and a warlock, all AoEing. Yeah, that, that's kind of a, a test for any tank, but um, for me, it was particularly interesting. Really hard to hold AoE threat, but I think we had a good enough time. I had fun doing some DPS with a two-hander. It was hectic, it was crazy, but it was overall pretty interesting. Thank you guys for being here for it. I really do appreciate that. 
As always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye now.